each workflow is a set of questions that generates a set of documents. This video is going to show you the basics of setting up the questionnaire view on Document. Right now, what you see here is the builder screen, where you're creating the workflow. What we build here is going to show up when we run and create the live version of the workflow by clicking run right here. On the questions tab right here, you can set up a variety of different types of questions, as you can see here by clicking this button. So not everything that you add here has to be a question that gathers data, like these questions here, but they can also be informational blocks. So for example, if you wanted to insert a video, an image, or some audio, or integrate with another tool, or if you wanted to have um, some kind of logic running in the background, those are all possible. But for this video, let's get started with adding a very basic question. I'll add a text question and I'll call it, what is your name? So when we run this, it's going to say, what is your name? Now I also need to give every single question a variable name. The variable name is what's going to identify this question in a variety of different places. So for example, if I wanna display this name inside of a document, on another page of the workflow, or set all sorts of logic as we go down the line based on this particular variable, I'm gonna to need to call it something. So, so I'll call this client name. Now, in the next video, I'll also show you how to add logic to questions, but in the meantime, we may also wanna give the page a title. So something like general information, and we might, might, might wanna name the section as well. So something like uh, intro. And I'll show you what that looks like when we run the workflow. So we can always preview that workflow. As you can see, now we have a question, what is your name? We can enter data right here, and that section label is listed on the left-hand side here. Now, stay tuned to watch how we can set logic to questions in the next video.